Professor Lee, you are involved in many international corporations are, and are a very competent researcher. What is your research all about? Uh, um, my research field is on uh, electronic engineering in fish farming, mm -hmm. include sensors, modeling, simulation, control, and uh, computer vision. And uh, why is international cooperation important in your field of research? Uh, as, you, as you know, China is a developing country, and the European country is a developed country. So today's European may be 10 years later of China. So uh, uh, why I cooperate with them? I mean, I want to know what they are interested in now. What they interest now maybe is our future. Mm -hmm. So this is why I want to cooperate with them. Mm -hmm. Because they, this means, uh, uh, for example, Wageningen University mm -hmm. is the leading university in the modeling. Mm -hmm. But uh, their modeling is for their greenhouse now. But this kind of greenhouse is not uh, used in China. But uh, I think maybe 10 years later, China have no so many labors, they must use automatic control. So, uh, so you, you can anticipate the future yeah, yeah, yeah. of uh, Chinese uh, yeah. uh, fish farming, for example, by looking at uh, uh, some uh, European projects, how they are doing. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. This, this is my, my mm -hmm. interest. And talking about the quality in research, there we, for example, have uh, impact factors mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. citation mm -hmm. index, but we have also the intellectual property right or patents. Mm -hmm. So how does the international cooperation stimulate and contribute to this quality of your research? Uh, for I think the impact for me is for the idea, because they have some new idea, I think, because uh, uh, Chinese scientists, most of Chinese scientists mainly focus on Chinese problem. Oh, I think that, that's true, that's right, that's, 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 but uh, not uh, for, I mean, not for 10 years later, mm -hmm. um, will, mm -hmm. that's the focus now, not for 10 years. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, I cooperate with them. We, we have published some co-published some papers, but no patents. We have paper, write some papers, my mm -hmm. students, for example, my students Xiang Yun, write mm -hmm. some uh, uh, papers with mm -hmm. the Greek partners, mm -hmm. joint uh, co-authors. Mm -hmm. I think this, uh, this means we have the similar level with them. Mm -hmm. So one is, uh, means um, for me, I'm in an international uh, cooperation view of the world, not mm -hmm. only for, for, for China. And we, what, we, what do you think um, from a European perspective, why should European partners be interested to work China. with you? Uh, okay. Uh, as you know, China is a big, huge, huge country. Mm -hmm. They have different uh, research uh, cases. For, for example, for the weather, some somewhere is very cold, somewhere is very hot. For for fish also different fishes, but in Europe they only maybe a uh, very small, uh, very small um, field, mm -hmm. and the species also is uh, limit mm -hmm. by the region. Mm -hmm. So this is one. Another is uh, as you know, China is a big market. They want to uh, maybe they, they have some corporate with us. They know the needs from China, and then uh, after the cooperation, their um, products maybe can go to China. Mm -hmm. I think so um, you provide them access to your ecosystem, where mm -hmm. you have a lot of uh, varieties of uh, temperatures, mm -hmm. fishes, mm -hmm. areas, mm -hmm. etc., where they uh, can also do their research and yes. gain experience. And maybe also 
get in contact with the culture, with the market, with the needs, yes, yes. Uh, and and understand better what the huge Chinese market yes. needs and, are. Uh, this is our field, and and some field China Chinese scientists also is very strong, mm -hmm. so they they also learn some from China. This mm -hmm. maybe another. Uh, in, their interest. It mm -hmm. means uh, not uh, all the field is low. Some mm -hmm. some field, for example, uh, for the um, for the biology, for mm -hmm. for some information technologies, mm -hmm. Chinese scientists also is strong. It's so, very advanced. In yeah. some fields, Chinese science seems e rather even for the mathematics, more yes, advanced yes. in yes. mathematics. Yes. Um, you say, and uh, uh, also in information technology. Yes. Uh, where Europeans could uh, also profit from yeah. the cooperation. And what needs to be done also and at the, uh, at the administrative and uh, on a policy level mm -hmm. to enable a better cooperation between countries? Uh, I think uh, this, is a, this is a different culture. Mm -hmm. China, for example, I involve a lot of Chinese pro, uh, uh, government-funded projects, and I know the Chinese uh, projects uh, administration. Mm, I also participate in the European project uh, mm -hmm. evaluation, mm -hmm. so I know there are a lot of difference. Mm -hmm. lot of so difference. you also have the experts' so, perspective yeah. and are a peer reviewer yeah. when it's. Uh, up to the evaluation of yeah, projects? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I involved many mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. European projects mm -hmm. evaluation. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, Chinese project management should learn some mm -hmm. from European. So mm -hmm. I, in many conferences, I mm -hmm. told the Chinese officers, mm -hmm. the, the, the scientific management mm -hmm. proper, uh, officers, mm -hmm. should learn some mm -hmm. from the European. Commission. For example, the uh, project they need three mm -hmm. independent uh, experts. Three independent experts. Mm -hmm. Yes. So and different uh, views. Yeah, different views, mm -hmm. but uh, finally the three uh, experts must get the one call, one score. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So discuss and mm -hmm. back. So it's a, it's a very, group and yeah, group. it's a rapporteur. Yeah. Last but not least, they come to a consensus yeah, yeah. and they decide on whether to fund or not to fund the project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think this uh, this is a very good mm -hmm. discuss. Many many discussions for the strong strengths and uh, the shortcoming of the proposals mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very good uh, procedure for mm -hmm. the uh, funding. Uh -huh. Very <laughs> good think. procedure. Yeah, for example, the European yeah. Union yeah. offers yeah. Uh, when it's up to getting research funds. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And what recommendations do you have for um, researchers interested in participating in international research projects? Uh, for my uh, uh, for my uh, point of view, uh, the scientists should be open, open the eyes, mm -hmm. not always uh, always focus on a small. So my uh, experience is uh, from the participation, you know a lot of partners and you learn a lot of, uh, for example, ideas or even some presentations. I mean, many, many, many good things from mm -hmm. other partners. How they present, how they uh, do their research, yeah. also methods yeah. and the approach. For yeah, example. for example, the how mm -hmm. to uh, write a report. I, mm -hmm. I know from uh, from mm -hmm. you, I know you are very good at uh, writing for the proposals and the reports. Uh, we know this thing, but we can't write so well. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, for me, uh, uh, I participate in European projects. Mm -hmm. I learn a lot, not only for the te technical mm -hmm. things, but a lot of mm -hmm. for management, administration, a um, mm -hmm. lot of other uh, culture. And, and, uh, and how about now uh, the practical approach you could, uh, or uh, let's say uh, a best practice approach you could provide to researchers uh, being interested in cooperating. I mean, when it's uh, up to proposal writing, mm -hmm. we now have the sit situation we do not always know where the money comes from. 
but what is your recommendation to these researchers when they want to cooperate? Uh, I think uh, firstly is the uh, involved the consortium. Mm -hmm. This is very important mm -hmm. because the China, uh, European projects normally for the consortium more than 10 partners. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a good chance to involve the consortium. Mm -hmm. You involve the how to write the proposal, mm -hmm. how to mm -hmm. modification mm -hmm. of the proposal, a lot of things mm -hmm. because... So everybody do. contributes yeah. to a proposal yeah, yeah, yeah. and to an idea yeah, also. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So I think this is a good experience mm -hmm. for the, for the, especially for the young mm -hmm. uh, scientist. Mm -hmm. So to do this discourse, to ask what are we doing in research together? Yeah. What makes sense? Yeah. What maybe we cannot do by our own in our own country? Why do we need the partners? Mm -hmm. And uh, how about then um, the, the, the funding? I mean, if you don't know whether there is funding or not, is this of interest to you when you meet researchers at first or? Uh, at the beginning, mm -hmm. I forget, I'm, I'm a young, I uh, mean, means uh, I think five or ten years ago, mm -hmm. and not so many uh, funding from the Chinese side. But by, mm -hmm. by that time, the European, we can get the fund from mm -hmm. directly from the. So the fund is very important for a young mm -hmm. researcher. But mm -hmm. uh, for me, for now, now I'm a famous professor in in this field. So funding is not the is is. Not the issue. Yeah. Yeah, funding not the, is not, not the, the issue, issue, but you, you say it's important to provide funding to young researchers yeah, yeah. to gain experience at yeah, first. Yeah. But why do you say funding is not so essential? How do you get funding? Research cannot work without funding uh, because you don't sell any yeah, product. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, Chinese um, researchers, at the beginning, it's difficult to, fund, to, to get the funding, but uh, when his uh, group is strong, mm -hmm. so he have a lot of a chance to get the funding. Mm -hmm. But uh, Chinese project, they have a small part of budget for international mm -hmm. co cooperation. Mm -hmm. So when a professor, they have a big group, mm -hmm. is strong enough, and uh, then he can use the, this small part for international cooperation. So you say from national project funding, you can take the small part and for, can for invest it for yeah. international cooperation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but this would also mean... About uh, 15%. Yes, 15%. Mm -hmm. But this would then also mean when you meet people and researchers, you don't think about funding at mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. You try to elaborate on the best ideas. Uh, yes. Uh, I Just now I told you... Uh, Get the fund is is good. It, it, I think get fund is good. But if you no know fund, you involved the process and you get a lot of ideas. You get a lot of experience how to write a proposal. Mm -hmm. And I think this is good for for apply Chinese project. Oh, I think this okay. uh, this is also so the process to know step by step how to write a proposal, how yeah. to set up a research project also um, gives a better quality mm -hmm. to your own national funded yeah, yeah, yeah. research projects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because uh, I told you, uh, Europe, I think, uh, is 10 or 20 years uh, ahead of China for ag mm -hmm. agriculture or aquaculture. So they thinking now is the idea is, I think, it means so involved with the discussion, you, you can get a lot of new ideas for mm -hmm. Chinese, Chinese mm -hmm. uh, problem mm -hmm. solution. Mm -hmm. So I think this is very important. So it's like the chicken or the egg mm -hmm. story. Yeah. We should not focus too much on a funding, uh -huh. but uh, go for fruitful cooperation mm -hmm. where our own area, mm -hmm. our own country or location where we live can profit. Is mm. that right? Yes, right. Yes. Mm. Thank you very much, Professor Lee, for this interview. Oh, you are, you Thank are you. Come, you are